Hey, what's going on? This your boy, Jay Soul. All right, man. Um, just got through watching Chris Ariola versus uh, Trevor Kaufman on uh, PBC, NBC. Um, pretty good fight, man. You know, um, Ariola edged uh, uh, Kaufman out with a split decision and what I call a very close fight. I mean, they're saying a lot of people said that Kaufman should have got the victory but here's my thing man one the fight was in texas if you know the history of texas you don't want to leave nothing to the judges so there you have it you know um pretty much uh it was a up and down back and forth fight so i mean it was whatever you was looking for i mean areola was landing some hard shots throwing using his jab solidifying the jab you know Working on the inside a little bit. Areola was landing some great body shots now. You know, Kaufman landed some hard punches. You know, good left hooks. Was throwing combos at time. You know, looked more fancier. You know, throwing and landing his punches. But the problem is, like I said, Kaufman didn't really pull away in this fight. He did floor Chris Areola, I think, in the second or third round. And instead of him trying to finish... Areola, he was contempt on just trying to outbox Areola and win the fight on the decision. Now, like I said, going into the sixth round, the fight was pretty close. It could have went either way. Now, I say from, I say the seventh to the tenth round, you know, Kaufman won those rounds. But here's the thing: after the tenth round. Ariola sort of like won the last three rounds on the on the judges' scorecard to pretty much get him the nod. Like I said, man, me myself at best, I had it a draw, but you could have went with with Kaufman if you wanted to. But like I said, he was fighting in Texas. You know, y'all know the history with Texas. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Pinnell Whitaker. You know. Austin Trout, Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Just various fights, just weird scoring. So, you know, what can I say? But it was a good scrap, though. I recommend y'all check it out. It'll probably uh, be on the PBC website in a, in a couple of days. So if y'all didn't get a chance to check this fight out, check it out. It was a pretty good fight, you know, between the two out-of-shape heavyweights. <laughs> but <laughs> both of these dudes need to hit the gym to get them some strength and conditioning coaches with the quickness real quick. But anyway, man, this your boy Jay Sewell. I'm out.